dear investor in this monthly outlook we shall look at the following one our view on which investing style could take precedence in the new fiscal seeking alpha you know this is a part of uh, our uh, outlook every every month basically trying to find out which part of the market may perform third valuations which we believe are now in favor of equities compared to domestic debt uh, key risks and finally conclusions today in the marketplace there are two prominent investment styles which are followed one uh, high quality high growth style and two uh, value style between 2012 and now for a large part of the period the high quality high growth style performed from the covid low of march 20 the value style has been in vogue though lately some comeback of the growth style is seen now let us examine the reasons for the same so uh, in the first period 2012 to 2020 you know one the availability of credit was low Uh, this period saw fed tapering which badly impacted indian companies with forex borrowing in 2015 we started to recognize banking sector in pas and this made borrowing led growth further difficult this culminated in the ilfs fiasco in 2018 uh, with less credit available uh, for corporate businesses the businesses which had cash on books and high rois they had a marketplace advantage and did relatively better stock markets follow growth and this was the part which uh, was delivering it and hence uh, it performed in the market second uh, policy changes and uh, natural interventions uh, in the period after uh, 2014 we saw several large ticket structural reforms such as demonetization rera gst uh, and a natural disaster uh, such as a covid uh, larger better quality businesses are able to navigate disruptions better as a result over this period uh, you know we not only saw a move from unorganized to organized but also from smaller organized to uh, larger players the breadth of market earnings narrowed and so did market performance the third point is that in the same period net flow of money in the market was mostly fpi money they were consistent buyers or on the domestic side domestic pension or insurance money these monies are positioned close to the index and hence you know we we saw either the better quality companies perform or the larger companies perform during this 2012 to 2020 period now uh, from the covid low till now we have seen certain uh, changes now one strong inflows from alpha seeking domestic investor into vehicles like pmss aifs and mutual funds as well as directly into markets so availability of money for alpha uh, has improved second strong industry supportive reforms such as pli ethanol blending policy defense indigenization make in india lower uh, uh, better import duty protection lower corporate taxation etc have benefited corporate india uh, in general and smaller companies in particular uh, breadth of the earnings at the same time has improved so if financial 21 saw strong growth in nifty earnings financial 22 saw a stronger growth in mid cap earnings the value part of the uh, market in this period uh, you know offered cheap valuations and cyclical tailwinds in spaces like commodity and banks were strong these factors resulted in a strong comeback of the value style of investing and and the beaten down spaces did well the breadth of the market was good now how do we see the future the 
cheapness of the commodity part of the market and let's say the PSU pack uh, has been realized and uh, though this this part still looks cheap on many valuation matrices. Uh, we expect a few trends going forward. One uh, commodity prices have corrected and margins of corporate India are expected to improve. The space with pricing discipline you know once again quality should see margin retention much better versus spaces with more competition. To growth which was omnipresent as the economy bounced back from COVID lows would now be at a premium going forward. So quality and growth combination uh, would be scarcer going forward. Third uh, interest rates should peak out. Uh, peaking of interest rates are good for businesses that derive a large part of the total value from terminal value. So one reason why value style came to the fore and quality and growth uh, receded was interest rates uh, increasing. Now this, this factor could at least peak out. This implies that as we go deeper into the fiscal style preferences could increasingly change towards growth in uh, new emerging high quality growth areas while value could also sustain performance as there are no negative triggers for, uh, for the value part of the market. Now which part of the market uh, may, may perform as a part of our seeking alpha thoughts. Now financial 24 is a year where nominal growth of the economy is expected to fall sharply. Budget numbers build in just about 10.5% growth and in a scenario of lower inflation the nominal growth can be lower uh, than, than projected. As growth investors we have to seek out spaces where growth can sustain. Uh, at the other uh, at the same time another influencer is a high US interest yield. When we compare attractiveness of Indian equities versus the US interest rates, Indian equity does not seem particularly attractive. We would have to see a further fall in yields so that FPI interest into Indian equities re-emerge. So while domestic money could look at Indian equities, FPIs should uh, be expected to not come in a big way uh, in the foreseeable future. Uh, quarter 4 result season is on. Many IT companies have declared results and after uh, let us say Infosys missing numbers it is now evident that there are issues in the discretionary spending in the US. Now IT is a large weight in the index and uh, hence uh, thought to be uh, facing headwinds. Another large sector banks in the index are also facing several issues uh, such as uh, uh, you know tackling a large merger, a CEO change and prospects of NIM declining. Now NIM decline could be across the board in financial 24 over financial 23 and put together IT and banks are like 40 percent of the index. Now commodity prices uh, could be lower as well uh, in the face of lower global growth. So overall for Nifty earnings growth slowdown is expected in financial 24 as well uh, and, and, and Nifty EPS could be sub 950. So we earlier used to have this number higher now we are pairing it down. Now uh, some total of what we have said implies that there is a great chance of bottom up stories in banks and IT to do relatively better where uh, the, the growth uh, levels are sustainably at higher levels. Uh, other growth spaces such as chemicals on China plus one, hospitals and branded generics on sustained demand, engineering and defense on continued order book accretion and make an India thrust of government of India. Uh, new age tech as it moves closer to EBITDA break even. Consumer discretionary position at the premium end where the slowdown effect is least. And yes NBFCs uh, which would find flavor we believe as interest rates speak out. Uh, these are spaces uh, which could benefit and these are where we are focused for growth. Now consumer staples also will see earnings uh, move up as commodity price fall. 
on margin improvements however however it remains to be seen if market gives a multiple to this commodity driven margin increase uh, in the face of high starting valuations and uh, overall sub nominal gdp growth rates uh, in sales growth so we are less optimistic here uh, tailwinds of slowing earnings momentum in index companies and higher growth in the narrow themes as defined above should result in alpha generation for a quality and growth focused investor like ourselves uh, valuations are now in favor of equities uh, external risks are diminishing with our forex reserves again climbing and current account getting more balanced as a consequence of strong growth in services exports uh after the correction in domestic bond yields the bond yield to equity indicator is now in favor of equity or at least balanced moreover in the new fiscal the tax increases on bonds and debt in general you know through insurance etc has meant that attractiveness of equities on a post tax basis for an investor has improved global flows however should remain muted as we noted earlier global bond yields despite showing signs of peaking out are still very high nifty yield minus us 10 year inverted indicator still points to investors uh, logically preferring us debt over indian equities the earnings growth expectation for financial 24 uh, have been brought down and could be as sub uh, 950 levels Uh, that said the valuations are on fair grounds uh, with earnings growth and nifty compounding converging over 97 to 2013 at around 12% and hence over the next few years earnings growth led price performance should be expected from the index uh, we have started building in the risk of a sharp fall in the expectations of uh, profit uh, as we noted earlier Uh, sharp fall in global m1 reduces the global growth prospects a large part of nifty earnings from commodities and software have global linkages uh, key risks that we see forward uh, you know uh, that should always be the focus uh, come from one lower forex reserves as a consequence of western central bank tightening uh, banks are a large part of nifty profit Uh, and there is no counterbalancing force to bank profits now uh, bank names may peak out in financial in quarter 4 financial 23 already the banks who have declared results are pointing to the same in financial 24 banks could see a drop in names and would have to grow assets faster to deliver the required growth in profits and maintain roe through lower cost to income uh, this again would not be easy as nominal growth of the economy slows down uh capex story in india is as yet driven by the government the sharp fall in wpi government revenues could see uh, re- revenue growth may, s- may fall and could result in stress in the system uh in the face of lower sales growth if companies lose pricing discipline the risk to earnings growth would increase so those these these are the risks one 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 needs to be clued on to Uh, finally concluding that while there are risks our start position is good as an economy as a market uh, forex levels are rising again and rbi is display, displaying a degree of independence by pausing indian rate increase cycle before that of the west uh, banks would see a nim decline but have levers that can smoothen earning trajectory including still benign credit cost environment uh if corporate capex gains momentum it would provide support to the government initiatives you know uh, to some to some extent neutralizing any slowdown in government revenue led uh, slowdown in capex overall we believe markets are fairly valued and the end of the tightening cycle provides tailwinds to the equity investing we build in earnings growth led market performance over the next few years with high quality growth companies uh, the names could be different in this cycle versus the earlier cycle again emerging as key market drivers when achieving growth becomes uh, more difficult 
Thank you. Happy investing. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.